Hey everyone, Dominic Nacarado here with another Protosphere 2.0 feature peek. You know, with our roots as an organization in learning, we've always tried to keep in mind the needs of trainers, moderators, and facilitators when building features into Protosphere. In Protosphere 2.0, the moderator functions allow you to have more control of an event or meeting, its content, and the level of participation that people will experience in a specific location. One of the new things we've built in is the ability for a moderator to lock a location. Now this is separate from our backend zone permission system and it allows a moderator to limit the access to a location from outside parties that are not already part of that session. All I have to do is go up to the moderator menu button and select the lock location option. A padlock icon will display for all the participants in that space at the bottom left hand corner of the application window next to the location name and this signifies that that location is locked. Another component that I have the ability to lock are the media boards. Now in earlier versions of Protosphere, if I wanted to lock a presentation board surface, I had to do so on an individual basis. But now, if I want to lock all the surfaces, all I've got to do is choose the Lock All Media Boards option from my moderator menu. When a media board surface is locked, participants are not able to update or change any of the content on those surfaces. Another often requested feature that we now have in 2.0 is the ability for a moderator to send people to another location. You know, during a live training session, it's not uncommon for a trainer to need to break people up into groups and instruct them to go off on their own to do some kind of work. We've tried making that task easier for the moderator. In this case, what I do is choose the Send People to a Location option. A window appears where I can select the specific individuals, or perhaps even everyone in that location, and choose the location I want to send them to, and then just simply click the Send Users button. One by one, I'll see them leave this location and be sent off to wherever I sent them to. A couple of the other moderation features we've included in 2.0 are the ability to mute everyone in a location and turn off the ability for participants to use the group conversation window, both very useful when moderating very large groups of people. Well, that about does it for this feature peek. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, take care, and I'll see you in world.